Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fish and Fun. Here at Fish and Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. Uh, we got a beautiful day to do a video here. Check this out. Nothing but sunshine. Feels great outside too. Wonderful. Um, so today, it's going to be a little bit different from my usual video. Uh, usually, what I do is I walk around a camper, show you the outside, go on to the inside and tour the inside, and that's not what we're doing today. Today, I'm kind of going to give you an idea of pricing on options and what things are optional and what comes with the camper. Um, my little lab rat here's the 2022 Lance 975. This one's leaving me uh, Thursday, sadly, going to a new home. Um, I feel like the uh, McCamey Animal Shelter here, but uh, yeah, this one got adopted. It's headed out. But while I have it here, this one's got the most options on it than any of these other two campers. So figured it'd be the best one to do got my little pricing sheet here if you can see this in the video all the options over here to the left camper models at the top what they start out at the highlighted ones are 975 and I went in went ahead and filled in the blanks and stuff on the options and then pricing's over to the side and blah 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 all right so this camper right here if I was to place a fresh order for it um, with the new price increase and everything this one's going to start out at $69,401 without options. Uh, with the options, it's got $15,272 in options, and I'm going to show you exactly what makes up that pricing right there. Um, but that brings your grand total to $84,673. With freight, they charge you $2,941 a camper. You're at $87,614. That's not what I sell them at, by the way. It's quite a bit under that I just have to say the retail um, anyways but yeah we'll, we'll start making our way around uh, this one I believe the only option that it doesn't have is the dual lithium battery upgrade yeah that's it that's all I'm showing so um, mountain graphics electric jacks stuff like that's all standard and even in our standard equipment you got to take a look at this like these happy jack 480 or let's see 4820s those are like $3,400 for a set of four so I mean you got $3,400 in jacks alone granted that's standard you know you don't have to go ahead and add that we're not messing with no manual uh, jacks here at least I'm not did that one time and I regretted it but um I'll show you you know the option for the lithium batteries this, we put two flooded DECA batteries in here, the Deep Cycle 27s, just because this one didn't have the dual lithium battery option. But as you can see here, dual lithium batteries, $25.95. So in two batteries, you're looking at $2,595. All right, that's one of the options that you can do on one of these Lance campers. Um, next, we're going to move around to the back. There's quite a few options just back here alone. This uh, power rear awning, that's an option. Let's see, let's point it out here on the... That gummit, this wind's annoying. Let's see. $1,015 for the power rear awning. It's got a nice LED light strip. I'll show you that real quick. All right, there's your power rear awning. Literally, you just hit a switch, push a button, and it rolls out. You got this nice LED light strip at the very end of it, lights it up at nighttime. Got us a couple stink bugs hanging out here, Bob and Larry. Um, but yeah, that's a $1,015 option. But I mean, I wouldn't have ordered my 975 without it, that's for sure. Backup camera up there, you can see that. That boy right there. That is $761. So there's another thing that's making up our uh, price here. Down below here, you have the onboard generator option and the Torquelift Ultra Deck. Ultra Deck Plus made by Torquelift has a little bike rack or receiver there where you can hang a bike rack, sewer hose support. I don't know, you can't get a 20 footer in there, but you know, it's the thought that counts, I guess. But this uh, deck right here, it is, let's see, $3,190 just right here for this deck. This slides in, 
got the little fold down step here but definitely nice to have if you don't have this bumper all you're getting is what's on the 855s over here this little bumper right here who wants that when you can get this this allows you to you know a lot more storage space this is where i put all my outdoor stuff like sewage pipes electrical cords uh, water hoses water pressure regulator stuff like that um, dog food if needed dog bowls and stuff i mean i have a great dane that likes to go camping so um, this allows you to have a lot more storage in a truck camper and if you've ever watched a video on a truck camper you know that you're limited on storage moving on right here we've got our onboard generator hold your breath this one right here is expensive let's see that right there that option five thousand seven hundred and thirteen dollars for that so right here between the deck and the uh, generator you're at shoot almost nine thousand dollars just in options right here that's more than some people's pop-up campers just right here in the back right here i don't know how many t more times i can say right here i'm sure y'all are getting tired of hearing it uh let's see up top we've got the docking lights and the uh, patio lights all that's standard for 2022 now where it used to be an option for 2021 so i don't know the pricing on that but i know that standard features like the power side awning the electric jacks the tv the um ac unit stuff like that refrigerators everything that's standard in these campers makes up a lot of the price that i don't even know the price to the jacks i know are 3400 for a set of four the ac units probably 1100 um so this side power awning i looked it up it was 1400 so i mean you've got a lot of money in standard equipment also here as options for standard equipment but this one's got the auto wind sensing i know it's windy out here so i might get it to do it but it has the uh auto wind sensing uh on it so if it gets too windy it rolls itself back in I don't even know if you can see that LED strip in the daytime, but it's there. Uh, let's see, what else we got? I'm pretty sure we've gone over quite a bit on the outside of the camper. I know we gotta go to the roof next. Yep, we're headed to the roof. All right, up top here, we've got quite a few options. We'll start with this, uh, what they call the roof rack system. That's a $290 option, so not too bad um auto locating satellite dish there for cable you're looking at one thousand one hundred and sixty dollars two solar panels your first one's going to cost you that gum at this wind is killing my piece of paper here you're looking at seven hundred and fifty six dollars for one panel and then if you go with the second you're looking at six hundred and sixty seven dollars additional you might be wondering what this little guy up here on the front is that's a Wi-Fi cell phone booster deal. I didn't have that on my camper. They didn't have it as an option, so I still haven't figured that thing out. But I do know that that's a $1,044 option. And like I said, these, these roofs are fully walk-on. You don't have to worry about any soft spots whatsoever in them. Come with a 20-year roof warranty. Slide-out cover's an option. That right there is... There's the magic number here. $326. So you got a lot of money up here on the roof too. I figured this couldn't be, you know, a regular video if I didn't go ahead and show you the interior. Everything in here is pretty much standard. Like on the 975, got the basement pull out here goes way back in there trash can when you walk in then you got your kitchen set up over here on the 975 there's not really anything that you can do option wise to the interior this is generally the way that they come at that sixty nine thousand four hundred and one dollar uh, price tag now uh, models like the 1172 you can get a fold down bunk bed i believe that's around five six hundred dollars um and then you can do a convection microwave that is let's see it's on here somewhere 
Well, it was. But you don't see it on here. Maybe they did away with that. Hmm. Yep. This is a new sheet that I just printed off this morning, so I guess they did away with the convection microwave, but then you got the 960 where you can do theater seating. But yeah, everything that you see right here for the 975 is the way it comes. They don't charge you any more or any less for any interior color that you pick out. You've got a lapis, um, bronzide, and grayson for your interior colors. This one's going to be grayson. Fridge bathroom and this being the 975 you got the dry bath tv bed some storage up in the bed and then the closet ac unit that's that's all right here plenty of head space in this bad boy right here and then look at this you're not going to knock your head off going out the door either six one no issues didn't have to duck some of the smaller camper models you do have to duck going out there not gonna hide that um, I've I've had my fair share of times where I've about knocked my head off walking out of one but this one right here plenty of headroom this one the 970 the 975 1062 960 and 1172 can't remember if the 850 does or not because I haven't seen one in forever um, that might change here soon though but uh, all those right there got really good headroom in them well that pretty much sums it up even at $69,401, you're getting a nice camper. They moved a lot of stuff standard to 2022, um, like your electric jacks, for instance. Those, the AC unit, TV, mountain graphics, patio lights, and I'm forgetting a lot more stuff. But anyways, you get a really nice camper. There's going to be absolutely no difference on the inside of the camper with the base model order. Um, the only differences that you're going to see is with the options, $15,272, I think it was, and options that you can add would be your generator, ultra deck, two solar panels, uh, auto satellite, the cell phone booster deal, still haven't figured that thing out, um, awning slide out, rear power on, I mean, we went through this already, I feel like I'm doing another video. You've, you've already seen me say it once, you don't wanna see me say it again, I guess. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That seals the deal. Um, if you have any questions, need help building a camper, go ahead and give me a call. If you're in the market, 423-892-6272 is the number. My name is Brad. I work over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fund. That's the name of the dealer. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you spec one out and get you one uh, headed this way. I know uh, my favorite camping season is about right around the corner. It's already started cooling off, and this is my time to shine here. Except now I'm camperless, so I'm using a tent until my uh, next camper is released, coming in. I haven't said too much about that. I'm still waiting. Um, that gummit, mean, I'm over here dropping secrets now. Oh well. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to be camping in a tent in a couple weeks. I'll probably video it too. Why not? It'll be hilarious. Me and my brother going over here down the road to this uh, Chester Frost. So, um, that that'll be that'll be fun we went a few weeks ago and freaking raccoons rampaged our tent had to throw the whole thing away and go buy another one that's one of the joys about having a camper you don't have to worry about them freaking raccoons uh they, they ransacked us anyways that that's a that's a story for a completely different video i guess uh but yeah that was the 2022 975 they start out at 69,401 dollars you can jack them all the way up to 87 if you want to um and they require a one ton dually long bed uh, they lance says that you can put them in a single rear wheel these are heavy this one right here is like around 4080 pounds dry and around the 4400 and change mark wet so they're heavy need more meat on the ground stabilization blow a tire you still got a tire to limp back in um dually is the way to go with this one we hauled mine in a 450 uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, comment below um, or you can call me. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Join this Fishing Fun family. We've reached over 24,000 now and I'd like to keep it going. Uh, if you want to see another video from me for some reason, 
uh, you can hit the notification bell and that'll let you know when I upload another video. That way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest. That's all I got. All right, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.